estimate on social media, we find out that Jam and Jack Connor will be leaving the RWA. And in something that another first in the RWA, the Triple Crown Champion Chris Pyro is granting Jack Connor a shot at the championship in his final match here tonight on RWA Hype. And Luke's I believe that is our first match. So. And he looks to defend here tonight, but going forward, if Pyro wins here tonight, I, I think he's the heavy favorite against Jack Connor. Looking to elite status, he will be facing Christopher Doza in a championship match after the Thanksgiving You know, the thing is, is that you can have favorites all you want. You never know what happens in a match. I mean, this being the last go-around for Jack Connor here tonight, you never know what type of intensity he's going to bring. Chris, uh, you know, uh, Chris Pyro may be a little bit worse for wear after that, after the match at Thanksgiving throwdown. So this may be an interesting contest where Jack Connor may be able to get over something quick on Chris Pyro and become the Triple Crown Champion. Well, we are underway. Bell has sounded here. Jack Connor getting this crowd here at the RWA Chop Shop. Our final show of 2014. And Jack Connor looks to climb the mountain one time. And a sign of respect between Pyro and Connor here. I mean, two crowd favorites going at each other here. This is going to be a very, very interesting matchup. I think that it's going to have a lot of intensity. I think you may see some things that you may that, that you may have never seen out of Jack Connor before. And hopefully that all comes out because I hope Chris Pyro beats him at his best. Collar and elbow tie up, challenger and champion. Turns into a key lock. Jack Connor goes 5'9", 173. Chris Pyro 5'7", 175. So they're relatively even. Connor does have the height. Well, not only does he have the height, but he has the reach advantage. Wow, very nice roll through by Connor. Very, very nice. I wonder where he learned that. That's a little inside there. Nice switch by Chris Pyro. And now I'll ask you, you've been in plenty of brutal matches sure. in your career. When you go from a match, it was it was not a wrestling match against Christopher Doze. It was a fight to having to, even with weeks off, having to go into what is, at least right now, looks like a pure wrestling match. Is that a very tough switch to go from? Well, I, I mean, just the intensity level that they had. I mean, they've been, uh, Chris Pyro and Christopher Doze have been battling for quite a bit now. I mean, you know that there was a lot of intensity going into that match. There was a lot of hatred, built up aggression. Uh, with this, it's really not so much. Uh, I mean, Chris Pyro being the fighting champion that he is, as much as that pains me to say, you know, he should probably protect his title from time to time, but he's giving Jack Connor a shot here. That's what he's trying to do. Colin Elbow tie up once again, challenger and champion. Oh, Arm drag. drag. The Japanese arm drag, nicely done by Jack Connor. And another arm drag into a neck breaker. Pyro is a little worse for wear. Cover one, and a kick out at one. Second I told pinfall. you, Pyro's looking a little slow today. He's looking a little slow. That match that he had with Christopher Dozer is really taking, is really taking a toll on his body. And you can see the frustration building in Chris Pyro. I don't think he expected this out of Jack Connor here tonight. <laughs> Referee Tony P giving him the count on the outside. Tony, a great referee to assign, be assigned to this championship match here. Probably one of the best referees we have in the company right now. Michael Santana was my favorite for a very long time. Until ah, screw that guy. Yeah, you're not a fan of him, I know. Connor will tie up once again. Challenger and champion, center of the ring. Connor, see, Connor using that reach advantage to push Chris Pyro back. Has a little bit of more. Oh, oh what, what a hard forearm. forearm. Connor rolls through, goes after Pyro, gets tripped up. Pyro, I think, caught Jack Connor in the midsection. Irish whip reverse, reverse again into the corner goes Jack Connor up and over. Pyro is caught. And a European uppercut by the Very champion. Very nice. Rolls him through here. I don't know what he's looking for. Off the ropes. Here's a cover. And nope. Pyro rolls through. Off the ropes goes Pyro again, looking for a Larry. Pyro takes down Beautiful. Jack Connor. And now Jack Connor is a little beside himself. You've seen Jack Connor grow as a wrestler since he debuted here in the RWA. Oh, and he's coming. Yo, he's Pyro's going to fly. Oh, Look at dive. Takes down Jim and Jack Connor on the outside. Triple Crown champion showing no regard for his body right there. And you would think that Pyro would want to step, needs to step his game up, even after an intense win at the Thanksgiving Throwdown, because he knows what awaits him if he wins tonight and, and retains his title. Cover and a kick out just one again. Now you, Jack Connor clearly has a reach advantage, as you pointed out. If you're Pyro, how do you how do you counter that? Well, what you would want to do, if you're Pyro, what you would want to do to counter that 
is you'd want to keep him uh, you'd want to keep him a little bit more grounded so that way he can't use his reach against you if you have him on the ground you can't shades of the late Eddie Guerrero with the trifecta vertical suplex oh, rolled right through very one, nice two and a kick out just get two Ah, he does a little shimmy, shimmy, shake. And listen to this crowd. His name's Eddie? No, his name is not Eddie. It was a reference I thought to it was Chris. To the late Eddie Guerrero. Oh, okay. Into the corner goes Jack Connor. Here's a cover. Beautiful. One. Chris Pyro, very smart, going for the pin early and often. Folks, we'd like to remind you that tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the Greenwood Pharmaceutical Company, the provider of Z-Packs, the wrestling catch-all for injuries. Really? Oh, you know, why not? All right. Sleeper hole takes down. Um, That's yeah, not a oh, sleeper hole. It's a rear chin lock. I'm thank, sorry. thank you. You know, if you're gonna do, if you're gonna do the play-by-play, -play, <laughs> you might want to know what they're doing in the ring. I'm just saying. I may be a little distracted tonight. Well, you shouldn't be. It's like Caddyshack. I don't have a tie. I have a bow tie. Tie me up with your tie, tie. Jack Connor back up to his feet, fighting off Chris Pyro. Forearm by Pyro. Into the corner, Pyro Irish whip Connor into the corner, hard into the buckle. Ooh, back elbow, a, net first back Pyro. Oh, there's a nice, there's a nice left boot. Another, yeah. another roll through and a big clothesline takes down the champion. Jack Connor is all fired up. A back elbow takes down Pyro again. Off the ropes goes the champion, being sent up and a flapjack drops. Jack. Chris Pyro right on the point of his head, cover two, and a kick out just at two. See, do you see how Jack Connor hooked that outside leg, though? He hooked it around the leg. You want to go inside the two legs so you can clasp your hands. European oh, uppercut. The European uppercut. You don't see that very often. Off the ropes goes Pyro, and he catches uh -oh. Jack Connor. Connor was able to roll through, and Pyro saw it coming, the crafty veteran. Off the ropes goes Pyro up. I think he's going for, or was going to go for, a Hurricane Rana. Pyro sends him into the corner. The super oh! hits the mark from left field. And wait, wait, what the hell is this? It's Jonathan James Spear cover, and Jack Connor kicks out. J.J. Fear and Christopher Dozer walk through the curtain. And what the hell is the number one contender for the Triple Crown Champion doing out here, meddling in this match that has absolutely nothing to do with Christopher Dozer? They are not meddling. They haven't done anything. Why is he out here? Why is the number one contender out here? What do you mean, why is he out we here? We have because monitors in the back. He because of elite match. status, he's going up against the Triple Crown champion. Why shouldn't he be out here? Pyro, meanwhile, in the ring, going for the Death Valley driver. Jack Connor fights off the DVD. Into the corner goes Chris Pyro. Jack Connor goes for a, I thought it was going to be a real suplex. Shot right to the shoulder of Chris Pyro, hanging what the up. What is he doing? Champion. Is he going to double stop him? I think he is. Jack Connor is going to kill Pyro and double stop right in the center of the chest. Good God. Good night, Irene. New champion. Two. And Pyro gets out. You see, out. It's, the, it's the hooking of the leg right there. If he was just able to clasp his hands, he would have been able to keep Chris Pyro down right there. This crowd is chanting that Jack Connor had a three count. Tony P had about a two and three quarter. One second away was, Chris, was Jack Connor from winning the Triple Crown Championship. I wonder if he would put it in his fridge tonight. Why would he put it in his fridge? Well, because of the haircut and the chops that he has. He's okay. And there's the stage dive. Hits the mark. Pyro is down. Cover. One, two, and Pyro finds the rope. Pyro found the bottom rope. And what the hell is J.J. Fear doing? And Dozer's in the ring. Tony P. Tony P. doesn't see J.J. Doesn't see Christopher Dozer in the ring. Dozer is measuring. I think it's Jack Connor. Dozer is measuring Connor. Connor ducks the ugly truth. Hits the champion. What the hell just happened? And then the ugly truth is Jack Connor. Dozer has knocked out the challenger and the champion. And Jonathan James Spear. The cover. One, two, Jack. The knockout. Jack Connor wins the Triple Crown Championship. Are you kidding me? With a major assist to Christopher Dozer and the two knockouts. And I'm sure you at least look upset about this. I'm disgusted. What is Chris Dozer thinking? 
So what does this mean for elite status? Connor is leaving the RWA. This was his final match. He's leaving his champion. Is the championship now up for grabs? Does it get vacated, or does Connor come back for elite status? I, mean, I don't think that you can vacate the title. I mean, uh, would he have to come back at elite status? There is a ton, a ton of questions to be answered. And Chris Pyro can't believe it. He knows exactly what the hell just happened. Jack Connor can't even believe that he won the Triple Crown Championship. Tony P is telling him, yeah, kid, you won. You. Well, smatterings of oh, you deserve it coming I from the crowd, Jesus. and I don't know if he deserves it with a win like this. Jonathan James Rear and Chris Dozer know exactly what they just did. Man, the RWA just got screwed harder than Jenna Jameson at a gangbang. Well, I tell you what, I know that at least I know who will be facing the Triple Crown Championship next, and it will be at RWA Chop Shop Anniversary, January 10th, 2015. Frank the Crank will be cashing in his contract for the number one contendership for the Triple Crown Championship at Chop Chop Anniversary, but will he be facing Jack Connor? He well, said Jack, he's leaving. He said he's leaving. That's my question is, what does that mean? What are you looking at me for? You're the guy. I, they don't want to talk to me. I'm a jerk. Chris Pyro is shaking the hand of Jack Connor. He does not know how the hell he even lost this. Pyro is more than a little upset about this, and well, we are going to have to get down to the bottom of this, try to get answers from anybody, but the, maybe you can go and talk to the boss, because you're much more friendly with him than I am. Well, Chris Pyro is going to be an angry, angry individual, because he lost his Triple Crown Championship not on his own accord, and I think that's going to be a huge problem for Chris Pyro. I wonder what they're going to do now. Well, the question is, what are we going to do? We have a championship match that is booked for Chop Shop Anniversary, and we don't know who the champion is going to be. Will it be Jack Connor? There are tons of questions that we have to answer, and we're just getting started here tonight.